I truly believe that the story, the names of our pepea, were about our tūpuna teaching and telling us about how to observe and what is so important about observation of our taio. Because in today's world, we don't do enough of that because we're so busy looking at devices or we're, we're so busy doing stuff on computers that we don't stop and look at what our taio was doing. All of these names are codified messages for us to understand the science behind it, the mātauranga behind it. Kia ora koutou, uh, so I'm John Proctor. I'm a, a professor of natural hazards at Massey University. I lead the uh, volcanic uh, research program for resilience to nature's challenges. Working in the area of uh, volcanic hazards, it's always about working with people and communities uh, and working with Ngāti Rangi. Just uh, became uh, part of standard practice, everyday practice, and trying to understand volcanic hazards, but also find solutions uh, to keeping our communities safe as well. Uh, kia ora tātou, I'm Fred Clark. I work for the iwi as the Kaihono Hono Arohe, the Environmental and Relationship Advisor for Ngāti Rangi. Ngāti Rangi are quite an ancient people. Uh, all the people I know of you are quite an ancient people. Our relationship is basically born from our from our Kora Manga Ruapu, hence why we refer to him uh, as our Tupuna, as our grandfather, grandmother, etc. So the significance of those places we're going to is we still hold on to that ancient connection, not just with the Whenua, um, but with all those things on it too. This spot here at, at Tangiwai, from a scientific point of view, it record all the rocks around here, all the layers of rocks, record all the different lahars that have occurred over time and you know we look around here we can see lahars from 1895 1953 a little bit of a 1975 lahar um, and uh, some lahars from 1995 all recorded here as well as 2007 lahar which forms the car park how people refer to the lahar as to where the rua peru or the sweet of rua peru yeah and after rua peru he's done a bit of hard work you know he always you have a bit of a sweet that's kind of like it to that. But Lahars, yeah, although they are destructive events, they actually um, show our ancestral mountains female attributes and female qualities. You know, we grew up, and every time we saw Poro having a, well, what we call a puff, or having smoking, we, we oh, for me, I was excited. I thought, wow, that, there we are, here we are. And, and, you know, as a child, I thought, why are we, how come we're here? I would, but I was never, never, ever afraid of living here. Science in Mātauranga Māori are the same thing. They're just on different ends of the knowledge spectrum. Science tends to fragment stuff and break it up and break it down in order to understand it, whereas Māori likes to understand things in terms of relating to it. Within it, there's a beautiful marriage right in the centre there. The mahi we've been doing, not just with John and Massey, but with GNS, is testament to that. This site is really important to us, not only because it's a Wānanga site and a real significant site for Ngāti Rangi, but for us, it contains a whole lot of uh, really important volcanological information. Each layer represents uh, multiple eruptions. We analyze all this information and that gives us uh, really good data that we can use to populate statistical models on giving percentages of when the next eruption might be, but also what sort of eruption we'll get and how big that eruption is as well. With our mahi for Te Papa Atafai, it's our role to manage uh, volcanic risk on behalf of the people who come to recreate, to ski, and to visit our maunga. How awesome is our maunga? Being able to look into um, and understand their behaviours, both from a scientific perspective and from our maturanga Māori perspective. We're at the uh, Upper Whangaehu River at Tekino. We're probably about five to six k's from the Crater Lake and so we're real close to eruptions uh, when it happens, but also the lahar action when it happens as well. The Science Challenge has helped us fund a whole lot of instruments, but uh, also a whole lot of engagement together, working with Ngāti Rangi, DOC and Horizons to install new monitoring stations. The ultimate goal is that uh, we're supporting Ngāti Rangi to develop their own volcano observatory around their moment. Hopefully we can 
uh, use science and use scientists to provide the tools and, and necessary technologies to enable that to happen as well. My hope is, is that we, we start to grow our own geologists and our own vol volcanologists who are first Mātauranga Māori base. You know, that's their foundation. Having our own ecologists, volcanologists, geologists to be able to share with our own that kōrero and how kōrero and the kāui maunga was formed from our own mātauranga, from our own observations through Te Rangi Wānanganga and also through the stories that the, that the rocks tell us, the stories that the whenua tells us and the stories that our wai tell us.